don't understand. Why didn't you just use the blackmail again? Because. Because what? Because if I'd gone to the housemaster, it'd have all come out about James. So what? <laughs> They've both been expelled. Lucky you. I couldn't do that. I love him. Oh, come on, guy. Look, I'm not going to pretend anymore. I'm sick of pretending. You think it's all a joke, but it's not. I am never going to love women. Don't be ridiculous. Martin only knew that about himself when he was ten. He told me. You can't possibly know a thing like that at ten or now. Yes, you can. Look, it doesn't come as any great revelation. It's more like admitting to yourself something you've always known. Owning up to yourself. It's, it's a great relief in some ways. You can't trust intuitions like that. Oh, but what else is there? Are you a communist because you read Karl Marx? No. You read Karl Marx because you know you are a communist. Well, I'm very sorry. Oh, thanks, if that's how friends react. I'm sorry. You're quite right. That was patronising and unforgivable. She couldn't help it, could you? Because in your heart of hearts, like Barclay and Delahaye and Fowler and Mingus, you still believe, in spite of your talk of equality and fraternity, you still believe some people are better than others because of the way they make love. Well, think of that for a lifetime. Think of the names. Pansy, Nancy, Fairy, Fruit, Brown Nose. Look, um, this hurts like hell. I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk it off. Coming.